My favorite color is purple. And I've accumulated a lot of purple art supplies in my time, and I thought, what if I draw a picture using every single one of them? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? So last Tuesday was my birthday and Casey Golden sent me the cutest box of purple art supplies. And I need to show you this because she put so much time and detail into it and it was just such a joy to open. <laughs> and she puts that same dedication into her own YouTube channel, so be sure to check her out. Anyway, she more than doubled my purple art supplies. <laughs> so this is what inspired me to create this illustration using just purple. The first challenge was deciding what to draw. <laughs> There aren't a lot of naturally purple things in this world. I mean, trust me, I've Googled it. You've got grapes, violets, this bird I found out about called the purple honey creeper and like a few other things. So I decided to draw all of my purple things. Like uh, I have this flower pot thing that's like a water drink can, but I use it to hold art supplies. Uh, my sweatshirt is purple. Um, my Doc Martens that I splurged on for my birthday are purple. Uh, my headphones, my computer, my extension cord, my socks. I own a lot of purple things. <laughs> In the end, there's only one thing left to draw if I'm going to be drawing all of my purple things. And <laughs> I guess it's me. So now that I have a plan, I surrounded myself with all my purple pens and pencils uh, for inspiration and I went to town. I started with my trusty uh, purple color ice pencil um, because I can't sketch in a regular pencil because it's not purple. And I made a quick thumbnail, um, which I sort of just figure out the layout of what I'll be working with and make sure that there's room for all of my purple stuff. So <laughs> and once I was happy with that, it was time to jump into the illustration. Using that same pencil, I just loosely sketch out everything and make sure it fits on the paper, make sure everything's laid out properly. And uh, then I start adding in details to things like my boots and my headphones. So it's not just a character floating on the page and I wanted it to be a little bit more, you know, illustrative in some way. I decided to circle myself with all my purple knickknacks and I did my best to sort of shape them into a heart because purple's a great color and it makes me happy and I love it, so. There honestly isn't a shade of purple that I don't like, which is good because I'm gonna be using a lot of them in this illustration. <laughs> Once I was happy with the sketch, I used my slowly turning purple kneaded eraser to lighten up the sketch. Um, instead of erasing it completely and using a purple pen for like line art or something, I decided to leave about, I don't know, 50% of the sketch there just so I could start adding color on top of it. And at the end, I'll go over everything with like a darker purple to give that sort of line arty finished look. But for the most part, it was much more of building of different art supplies so that I could, you know, kind of check them off the list and make sure I used them all. The next purple art supply I used was the Winsor & Newton brush marker. This is like one of the lightest purples and it's like almost a pink that I own. So I use this to color in my really light Doc Martens. Well, the first layer of the Doc Martens. I go over these a lot. Since I didn't think it was quite dark enough, I used this Prismacolor Premier pencil and uh, sort of added the sh made it shiny bits by creating like shadows and to find some of the lines. I also used um, this watercolor pencil to do the same thing because it was an even darker purple. And again, I'm trying to create different tones because the colors are so similar. You need to really find the tones to create some contrast in this illustration. Um, after that, I thought the boots were still too pink, which is weird because it's purple. But <laughs> So I went over them again with um, this purple Zig Writer um, to try and create the shiny look. Again, I just left some of the parts that shiny pink color and darkened others to make it, you know, I'm trying to make it look shiny. That's what I'm, try I'm trying to say. Okay. <laughs> One of the things Casey sent me was this metallic jelly roll pen and it is just so dark and beautifully purple. <laughs> so I use this to draw in the shoelaces and like other details on my boots. My sweatshirt is a very particular purple and I needed it to be so in this drawing so that it was, you know, my sweatshirt. And there was only really one pen for this job and that was this Chocola marker. Um, it's actually for drawing on dry rice boards and like glass and stuff that you can like wipe off. But I mean, I gotta do what I gotta do. I gotta use everything, right? <laughs> um, I filled the entire sweatshirt with this and I really liked the chalky texture it added to the drawing. It's like, I don't know, you know, it gives it that mixed media feeling. I use this Progresso in dark violet to uh, sketch out my computer, um, which I'm quite proud to say is this HP Omen that I got for a spanking good deal in an open box. Eek. Keep your eyes out on those things, guys. It's a great way to get a computer. <laughs> um, but the color purple and the good deals are just both things that make me very happy. <laughs> and the chassis of my computer is black, but it has these like schmancy like LEDs on the front that are, like, you can set to glow purple. And of course I have, so purple things, <laughs> yay. <laughs> Um, to add details to my computer, I use the Stabila Point 
88, which I thought looked really good in like, used along with the Progresso pencil, like the two colors just really complemented each other. Um, I used this Tombow brush pen, um, which is another beautiful purple color. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it almost completely matches my weird watering can pot art supply holder thingy. So um, I colored it in with that. Oh, well, I colored that in with this. <laughs> and a few of like the flowers that are in other knickknacks that are around me um, that are just my abundance of purple pens. <laughs> they all really looked good in this color. Um, I used the Stedler Triplus Fineliner, which oh, I like this color a lot too. <laughs> I used this to line a bunch of like different purple things that I had already colored. Um, I really, really like the contrast between this purple color and like the other purples because this one's like a more red and those ones are more blue. And I just, I really like the way those look together. Um, I used uh, this another thing from Casey, the Academy Watercolors um, in purple. <laughs> um, and I used this out to basically f color anything that I didn't want to be too purple <laughs> like skit <laughs> i also colored like the shorts and the hair but i get a lot more um touch-ups with that later and watercolors is definitely becoming one of my favorite mediums just because of how many different tones you can get out of one pan or one tube and like you know with adding more water or less water and all those sorts of things like they're just really fun to experiment with so I took full advantage of that and uh, was able to add like blushies and blend those out on the cheeks and the knees so that was really really fun also I used this gouache for the first time um I colored in all the purple boxes with this I've only used gouache like once so this was still very experimental for me uh, but it was really, really fun and like learning to use the gouache and seeing what it, how it interacts with more water or less water or no water. And I really like the style that these boxes ended up in, like the colors and the way it's shaded, even if it doesn't really fit the rest of the piece. Um, but I mean, maybe in a way, the fact that it doesn't match the rest of the piece is what makes it all fit together, right? <laughs> I, I also use the gouache to like shade other things in this piece. so that were like trying, starting to get lost because there wasn't enough contrast. So I darkened those up like the hair and my computer. I used the Ohu acrylic pen, which I don't think I've ever used these in a video, but which is weird because they're really, really fun to use. Um, and I need to get on that, but it's basically like an acrylic paint that's in a pen. So they're like super opaque. And I used that for like my extension cord. And because it was such a wide and round bullet nib, I was able to color in the grapes like with a sort of pointillism and it was really really quick and fun and like perfect little circles so that was really cool and I'm glad that it turned out that way. Um, I used my trusty purple highlighter which I've owned for almost a millennial now I think <laughs> the paper mate purple highlighter um, and this is like one of my go-to art supplies because of just how nice it is to use in my sketchbooks because you know it doesn't bleed through the paper and you can use it with a purple pen and it's just I, I've used this color a lot and uh, I just basically colored anything that I neglected so far because I was running out of things to color. And then it was time to use my all time favorite art supply. And I'm not just because I own like nearly half a million of these things. It's this is the Bic round stick grip pen. Um, get the purple one, of course. Uh, I think 95% of all of my sketches and illustrations on Instagram right now were drawn with these suckers. <laughs> So just holding it after like holding all of the other purple art supplies in my hand, it was like, it was like holding the hand of an old friend. It just felt so natural. <laughs> so I use this for a lot of things like detailing and outlining just about everything. Um, like in particular, the face. Now this AD marker, I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, this I was kind of terrified to use. <laughs> it bleeds like nobody's business, okay? And it smells like a semi truck and like a semi truck size skunk collided and then like with the smelliest thing in the universe and then that all just caught fire so I decided to use this like as sparingly as possible and I just colored all of the parts of my boots that should be black because it's so dark like the sole and like the trims um and yeah it's just this was a scary pen and I don't really want to use it again <laughs> For the really dark parts on the boots that needed to be a little bit more detailed, I used this Wink of Luna brush because it's a brush tip and you can get very fine details with the very tip of it. And of course we can't draw something using all purple art supplies without a purple sharpie in there somewhere. Um, so I just use this to like basically anything I wanted to color with that AD marker, but I was kind of scared of it. I just used the sharpie instead. So 
<laughs> all of the rest of the parts of the illustration that needed it got that treatment. Um, and lastly, I used this purple Posca. Um, Posca are really cool because they're also opaque, kind of like the acrylic pens. Um, so I basically could use this anywhere I wanted to, and I kind of did. So <laughs> I experimented like all over the place. Some places it looks good, some places it kind of doesn't, but it's still awesome to draw over something with an opaque color. It like never gets old. So I was I was having a lot of fun with this one. <laughs> and basically with that, I was sort of done. I did add a little more touch-ups, went back over with some of the supplies I had already used. Um, and yeah, this, I, I think I do, if I'm going to be honest, have more purple art supplies somewhere in my house, but like, I can't be bothered to buy them. So, <laughs> I have a lot. A lot of like more pens and stuff, so, yeah. So I guess technically I kind of failed this challenge, but, but, but thanks for watching, you know? It was honestly a challenge, like, just going through and making sure that I used every single one and like switching through them and using them for different places and swatches are your best friend with this like because <laughs> you have to know before you put it down if it's going to look good next to that other purple that you've already put down so you gotta like make some swatches and then use your little brain so it was definitely a fun exercise and this was i don't know it was really really cool should i try and do this with a different color thank you guys for watching tag me if you do anything similar because i'd totally like to see what you guys come up with you're so creative um and yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys all next week and i hope you all have a delicious evening full of waffles bye